number 11 and it's me, May Mustafa. Today's episode is about what I've learned in 2020. Why I am doing this episode just now, even if it's finally the new year and it's already a new beginning, a new start. We can do whatever we failed to do in the last year. But why exactly that I'm sharing this with you right now? Because I think because it's a beginning, we need to notice what we already learned the last year or what we already have in our arsenal. So... What I have in my arsenal that I want to really to share it with you because I really want to give you some insights that you may not have yet and because 2020 was really something, guys, wow, wow, I'm really happy that it just passed, but We cannot just be blind because this year, even if it was maybe the worst year ever for some people, but we cannot deny that we already learned a lot of lessons from this year. And I think those obstacles that we face that make us really stronger and... It's like working out. It's like when you work out, you will build muscles. It is the same when you face obstacles because you face obstacles, then you, and when you overcome it, you will be stronger. You will be the better version of yourself or more experienced. You will be wiser. You'll be someone who faced something big and eventually came over it. And that is really something you must be proud of. So what I'm really here to share with you is what I've learned in 2020 because I want those lessons to be in your arsenals as well. So just let's begin our episode. To be honest, I just wrote down 13 lessons that I've learned in 2020. So just let's begin with number one. So number one is to focus on the bright picture as whole, not just those black spots in it. I learned this lesson when when actually I began to study English and to work on my English skill and I really didn't want to ask my dad to give me money to go and take courses even though I eventually took some of them but I really didn't want to ask for more money so I just said, if I don't have money right now, so what I can do to learn English and to work on my skill without money, so it's just for free. So I just kept search for a lot of a lot of materials that I can have that I can study without pay, uh, without paying any money. So I eventually found a lot of materials, a lot of videos on YouTube, a lot of a lot of pages, a lot of websites that really didn't require me pay any dime. So it was really great. So don't focus on just the problem that you already don't have money. Just focus on what you can do right now for free and money will come because because you don't have money right now doesn't determine that you will not have money for your whole life it's just a permanent it's just for now and then you will have it but just learn and if you don't have money to learn right now there is a lot of sources out there that you can just have for free 
So, for example, if you love reading books, I really admire reading books. It wa it's one of my hobbies. But you don't have money to buy. Actually, there is a lot of libraries out there that you can go and just read for free. There is a lot of websites that you can just access and read the book you want as a PDF. There is a lot of a lot of sources out there, a lot of choices for you. So if you just don't have money, it's not a problem for learning because there's a lot of things for free. So don't just focus on the black spots that you don't have money because there is another bright spot because there is a lot of things for free. Listen number two. Don't focus on the problem so much. Just focus on the solution and how to make it work to your advantage. I will give you the money example because who don't want money? So, some people will just focus on themselves, don't have money, and they will go and cry, Oh, mama, I don't have money, I don't have money. But they just ignore the fact that they can think, just think about some solutions. How can they have money in an authentic way? Because they just may think, what can they offer to the market? What can they give people? How can they help others? How can they do something useful that will help other people so other people will see that it's really beneficial for them and then they are willing to pay for the service of those people. So instead of just focus on the lack of money, focus on how can you earn money? How can you earn money again in an authentic way? Very important because there is a lot of unauthentic ways out there that you may follow, but you will just go to jail if you follow them. So just focus on the authentic way. How can you earn money? Listen number three. Never stop learning and exploring. Actually, a lot of people just think because they graduated from school, then the learning journey just stopped. They will not go and learn anything else because they just, they just graduated. But that is really foolish thing to think about because learning doesn't stop. I did an episode before called Never Stop Reading, Never Stop Learning, Never Stop Growing because learning linked to growing. If you just told yourself, okay, I graduated from school and that's it. That's it. I will never open a book again. I will never go and learn any new skill again. I will do nothing. And that is foolish. How can you be wiser? How can you grow actually? Because, because we don't just grow by aging, we grow while reading and exploring and face a lot of challenges and a lot of obstacles and maybe something hurt our feelings and the, the difficulties in life and experiencing a lot of things and meeting another people and communicating with people, all of that makes you growing. So don't stop learning never 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 stop learning because when whenever you open a book whenever you go for a new adventure you will have something to learn about you will have something to explore you will face something that you've never faced before you will be surprised of how lack of experience you have whenever you have something new whenever you face something new 
So that is really important because learning equal growing and you will grow in a healthy way. Why? Because it's like you are doing some exercises to your brain. You are working out your brain so you get smarter, you get better, you get wiser, you get everything you need to to continue living a life that will give you excitement. You will never be bored because there is something you you experience, you know, every single day. So your life will be full of excitement and joy. And let me tell you something. What I've really experienced, what I've really saw in my life, even though I'm not that old, but I saw a lot of old people who really think like just kids, you know, and I think the problem because they stopped learning, they stopped exercising their mind, they stopped living. So when you stop exercising your brain, you're actually losing it. And the phrase that that tell us use it or lose it really works for those people. And if you just stopped, if we uh, just stop learning and exploring and see different things that we never saw before or even saw things we saw before and now we can see it in a different way and notice it more and understanding it, we may get bored, get frustrated, get every negative thought and emotion that exists in the world so please 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 continue learning and continue exploring and make a hobby of reading because reading will open your mind wide open to to absorb more information and to be to have that level of understanding that will help you to be really closer to a lot of a lot of facts in life and to be closer to to other people because now you have something to share now you have something that you already understood so that you can share what you understood with other people so you will help other people People. And I think helping other people is really great because that makes you feel like a useful person. That makes you feel the worthiness of yourself. And that is really, really great. And I think that we, what we already need in our life, lives, we need, we need to feel like worthiness, like we worthy our lives. We, you know, our souls in our body not just not just for for the sake of our souls and our bodies no because there is a purpose of it there is a reason why we are still living and if we just stopped learning if we just stopped from growing we will lose the purpose maybe you will not even get to notice why are you still there even if there is a lot of hard hardship happens to you there is still a reason for your existence so i think learning and exploring will make you understanding or will make you have the insight and the wisdom to know the reason of your existence now let's take a little break and then continue our lessons. Lesson number four. Whenever you have the chance to laugh, laugh. Don't hold yourself from laughing because you'll need it. You'll need that energy later. I saw a lot of people don't, don't just live the moment. They just 
feel or they just live in that black box that is negative box that shitty emotions for a lot of times and whenever they face that that fun situation or that joyful in life they just ignore it they just still trying to focus on the negativity not Focus on not trying to focus on those lag spots, not trying to focus on that brightness, that positivity. So they just don't feel, don't live the moment. I see or I saw <laughs> a lot of people really don't try to laugh whenever they have the chance. They just ignore laughing they just ignore laughter ignore to to have fun and i don't i don't mean it in a negative way or in a bad way i'm just telling you to go and laugh man go and laugh and fill your energy because you will need it later because life is not just a black and white but still there is sometimes there is some bad situations happen to you and you really need the energy to just face it and to be a warrior and to be strong enough to face it so how can you don't face it without energy you need energy that energy you need is laughing and joyfulness because when you think in your normal state that life is really joyful there is a lot of happiness out there and you didn't and you didn't live the whole happiness in the world and there is a bad situation happens to you maybe it's a bad situation or um or a sad situation a sad situation you really need to to think in that moment that you really felt that sadness there is still a lot of happiness out there and it's not the end of the world because there is there's is a lot of joyfulness a lot of happiness and a lot of a lot of fun out there so don't just block yourself in those bad moments or those sad moments because because it's not, it's not life. Here, it's not the life. That box, that black box is not the life. Don't lock yourself into it. Because there is still another, another place which is really bright, really joyful, really fun, really great out there. Okay? So... Just whenever you have the chance to laugh, laugh. Even though it's 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 hard hard for you to laugh in that moment because you still stuck in your mind in those negative things, negative situations and thoughts. Force yourself to laugh. Force yourself to to change your energy, to change your statement. To change your or to change your way of seeing the life by just letting yourself to laugh 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 and whenever you try and just to change somewhat your muscles in your face and just to smile smile even if it's a forceful smile but it will change your energy really 100% it will change it and don't and don't lock yourself into that black box forever and try to get out that black box whenever you can and just try to focus on the the brightness of the life the possibilities in life the positivity in life okay so laugh whenever you have the chance okay can you hear me laugh girl listen number five 
Enjoy those hard moments and feel the shock and the pain because it's okay. Personally, I think pain what really makes us grow. And I see a lot of people just ignore the pain, ignore those shocks and try to just focus on something else. Don't focus on the, those emotions. But, emo but personally, I think those bad emotions what really make us grow, what really make us more mature. Because pain is the way of maturity. It's my personal opinion and whenever really I have a hardship and I have hard moments, I just try to, to live it and to see how I will face it. Like, how can I face that hard moment? What I feel, I will try to notice everything. How I communicate, how I feel, how I everything, everything, everything. I will try to focus on it. I will try to notice it and to feel it. I will feel the pain. It's not because I love being in pain or something. Nobody likes it. But what I really say is to let pain make you, makes you mature. To let the pain make you grow. To make it teach you how to live. To make, make it teach you how to already deal with those situations that will come in the future. So just feel the pain and let it make you grow. Because it will make you grow. Lesson number six. There is no room for perfectionism. That is true. For me, trying to make my podcast, I try to, to be perfect. And later, I understood there is no perfectionism. I would never be perfect. And I will just be better in what I'm doing because of doing it. Because whenever you're practicing, whenever you're trying every single day to do or to put efforts in that thing, you will eventually get better at it. It's like the natural law. So whenever I'm trying to make my episodes, I'm trying to record things, I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus on my podcast. I just try to learn by doing it, learn while I'm doing it, actually. Because if I waited until my English is perfect, until my everything is perfect, until the equipment is, is perfect, whenever everything is perfect or or just waited until the right moment to come. I just actually threw myself into it and I told myself, okay, girl, let's do a podcast and let's just try it. And to be honest, this is my second episode without doing any script. It's just me talking to you. Uh, to be honest, I, I wrote down those, those lessons that I've learned in 2020. Uh, but that's it. I didn't, I didn't wrote. I didn't write any script. I just talking. I'm just talking. And it's a challenge, but it's just also a practicing because maybe in my episode number 100, I will get better. I will have the ability to speak better and everything will be better and better and better. It's just, as I told you, the natural law. So don't wait until everything is perfect there is no room for perfectionism do it right now even though even though you're not good at it you will be good at it while doing it because whenever you're 
in the process you will learn things you will get experience in it you will get experienced in that thing so you will be like a professional in the end of the day so it's really great and and to be honest uh, I'm, I, I wasn't really sure about myself doing a podcast but it's okay because because it doesn't need to be a perfect podcast maybe my voice my energy my my topics or whatever is not that you know that fantastic thing that perfect no it's not but i'm trying i'm trying to practice i'm trying to get better i'm trying to and uh, to learn and there's another thing that's really important try to be open to learning open to learn not learning try to be open to learn don't just lock your mind and it's just a one thing and one thing only because there's not just a one perfect or one correct answer okay there is a lot of answers and every answer is 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 right for some person so just do it do whatever you want to do don't wait don't wait don't wait don't think don't think don't think just do 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 it's the new year it's 2021 it's your time to just do whatever you was about to do in the last year and you just told yourself okay let's just be better at what i'm doing without doing actually anything do it right now listen number seven take care of yourself first don't wait until you find someone else who will take care of you to be honest i saw this thing in dating in the dating area because some of my friends just didn't want to want to change herself to be a better person she just waited until she finds someone who will be there for her so she can change for him not for herself and that is really a problem that is really a problem and that is really a wrong way of thinking because you change for yourself you get better for yourself you take care of yourself you be healthy for yourself you will be good good educated for yourself and i really didn't mean to go to a fancy college or a fancy school no even if you didn't ever go to school but there is a lot of chances out there to just learn by yourself you know homeschooling and stuff like that and and there's a lot of things a lot of people out there trying to learn by themselves so so just take care of yourself don't wait don't wait don't wait for somebody because for her that person may come or maybe come and maybe not i really don't know the whole story if that person come to her and she finally find the one for her i don't know but it was really a wrong way of thinking in the beginning and and i hope you don't think in that way because because being a better person for someone is really weird so think about it what if that person left you what will you do what would you do will will you tear yourself up where yourself where you beat yourself up will you just hate yourself because that person left you and you did everything for him it's really bad because you will be if you are a man or a woman, a girl or a boy, you will be just a doormat for that person. You need to have your own life. You need to have your own standards. You need to have your own laws, okay, that you follow.
So do everything for yourself. And if somebody really you really you like or he likes you or somewhat and he likes how you actually live your life and he wants to be a part of it you maybe find your good match find a good match for you so hallelujah right so take care of yourself and you will find the person who really like you for being in that awesome life you already live in don't wait until you find somebody to live your own life okay because life is going on life goes on life goes on life goes on with him or without him you already living on the earth so why not have an advantage of it why not just live your life and find those things that you really find yourself in right try it try it and don't wait don't wait until anybody come comes to you you don't need that person to come to you then and then you will you will live your life no you don't need that you need right now to have a paper and a pen and to write down what you really like to do uh not likes <laughs> what you really like to do what you really hope to have in the future what is your goals what you dreaming about everything about everything about you and try to make it happen step by step try to make it happen step by step okay don't wait until somebody enter your life and tell you and give you order what to do and what not to do okay because it's not anybody else business it's your business and only yours okay uh, let's take a little break and then continue our lessons Listen number eight, throw yourself into challenges and observe how will you react. I really love that one because it's like you force your brain to learn in a forceful way. And I, that really is awesome. When I did it, actually, I just threw myself into an environment that I really know nobody there like I went to the gym and it was really a new environment for me I knew nobody there was everything new the system was new every every everything was new and I just threw myself there and I observed I noticed how I actually react in that situation I noticed that everything that I've learned in that year that or in that um, lockdown or lockdown what is it the quarantine thing I noticed myself that I'm really applying a lot of things that I've learned in that uh, in that period of time so I was really surprised how I was reacting with with those people out there and I was surprised how I already made friends, how I was actually speaking with other people, how I actually was confident about myself, how I actually was doing everything like I own the place. <laughs> okay, so, so just throw yourself into a challenge. It was really a challenge for me, a new whole new experience new environment new everything and i was just notice myself and and see how i already react in that situation and it may be just one example but maybe you have another examples in your life you maybe was just working working from your home you just in that little roomy and everything and you've never worked 
out there, you never applied for a job before and everything, and you suddenly, suddenly decided to go and apply for a job and you actually have a job and you actually go into the work. That is really a challenge. You may do it, you may do it and and not is what will you do? It's really, really a challenge. Try to challenge yourself and and you will really get surprised. And to be honest, not everything you will see will surprise you. Some sometimes or some some situations that you already uh, interact with or you already faced will shock you. You may be shocked by how you interact with some situations, but don't be overwhelmed about that because it's okay to find the flaws, to find something you did bad and you learn from it and you you already see and understand what is the better reaction, how can you really deal or react in that kind of situations in the future. So when whenever you get shocked, just don't focus on the shock itself, you know, focus on the lesson how can you improve yourself in the next situation and how can you react how can you communicate with other people how can you even say some words maybe compliments maybe just you know the communication itself you may really be sucks at communication skills but it's okay because you saw it you notice it you you have already a lack of 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 skills in that area and then you have the chance to improve it you have the chance to be better and to improve yourself so it's really really a good thing don't be shocked don't be overwhelmed don't be frustrated because you did something wrong it's okay It's okay, whatever you did wrong, it's okay because there is a chance, there is a chance that you will learn from it and you will not do it again. So focus on that that process. You did something wrong, you noticed what you did wrong and then you learned from it and then you you will not do it again in the future so it's really a process and just focus on it don't focus on the bad shitty emotions that we feel after we do something some something wrong okay and if you feel like you you feel fear you feel afraid uh just thinking about you making a challenge to yourself and throw yourself into a a new environment if you feel fear don't feel afraid don't feel the fear but feel the excitement because it will really be an excitement challenge an excitement opportunity to know yourself better and to improve yourself to improve yourself just be excited because fear emotions and excitement emotions are really similar in a way so just focus on whenever you whenever you feel yourself afraid just remember yourself or remembering yourself about excitement there is excitement in the world so just focus on the excitement not the fear. Listen number nine. Work out more and notice how strong you are. Actually, I noticed that myself because as I told you, I went to the gym and I'm now going and doing my workout maybe four or five times a week. And that is really okay (laughs) and that is really okay 
and I didn't know that I'm already that strong I have that determination I didn't know that even if other people told me you are determined enough to do whatever you put in your mind but I didn't but I didn't feel like that but when I went to the gym I already felt that way about myself I didn't know that about myself even though other people told me but I didn't believe it and then I saw it myself and now I noticed and I knew something new about myself like determination now I can see I'm really determined enough to do whatever I put in mind and and that is really great because because it's not just about gym, it's not about the weightlifting, it's not about those weights that you carry. It's not about that, oh, it's about something else. It's about life. It's about what you are doing in life. Because if you saw yourself strong in some situations, that means... You can be strong in another situation as well. If you are real strong at the gym, if you are trying to do your best, if you really trying your best and do a lot of efforts, that means you will do that or you will do the same in your real life, in the life, in the situations of life, in every, every, every single thing happens to you in life. So... We link, we link that in our minds because if you're strong in the gym, you will be strong in life. If you're, if you're a weak person, if you don't have any achievements, even, even if those achievements are really, really small, if you told yourself, okay, I will not eat uh, in that, uh, in in this hour in the day maybe the midnight or something and you already did it that is really a small achievement right and that makes you feel like you are strong you you disciplined you you determined enough and that will help you when you really face a strong a strong situation a stressful situation because you already believed yourself like a strong person, a disciplined person, a determined person, and that means you will be like that in the real life because whatever you already believe in yourself, other people will, will see it, other people will will feel it, other people eventually will believe it. Why? Because you already believing in yourself believe one two three about yourself and then you force yourself you you force your your belief over other people why because they can see that you are disciplined you are determined you are strong and then they will just and then they will eventually respect you this episode is really, really long right now. I was trying to do it as shorter as possible, but uh uh-uh. Anyway, I will continue the other lessons in another episode. So, as you know, go and visit my website. You, I will put the link in the description and you can go and see my instagram page my youtube channel my linkedin and every every thing uh until next time be strong and be determined and commit until you make your dreams come true and see you next time peace